Tonight's lesson is on the second law of exponents, dividing powers with the same base. Similar to last night's table, we're going to go ahead and complete this table. I've given you a few expressions. I ask you to write each of those expressions out using repeated factors and then simplify to a single exponent. I'm going to complete the third row with you right now, so please be ready. Negative 2 to the fifth power in our numerator means I need to write out five factors of negative 2 in that numerator. Two, negative 2 to the second power means I write out two factors of negative 2 in the denominator. Now, so I didn't lose my fraction bar, I kept my division sign, I kept my fraction bar. Now I'm just going to divide out common factors. Negative 2 divided by negative 2, negative divided by negative is positive, 2 divided by 2 is 1. Negative 2 divided by negative 2, negative divided by a negative is a positive, 2 divided by 2 is 1. Then I take a look and I say to myself, how many factors of negative 2 are left? There's three factors left. So I know my base is going to be negative 2 because there was three factors left. I write my exponent as a 3. So negative 2 to the fifth power divided by negative 2 to the second power becomes negative 2 to the third power. And tonight we're going to see if we can come up with a more efficient way to simplify that expression as opposed to having to write out repeated factors every time. I need you to now complete the first two rows on your own. Pause the video and come on back. All right, hopefully you completed those first two rows and you pause that video. So the first row, if we write 2 to the 5th using repeated factors, we write 2 out 5 times. If we write 2 to the 3rd using repeated factors, we write 2 times 2 times 2, and we always keep our fraction bar. Now we just simplify. 2 divided by 2 is 1, 2 divided by 2 is 1, 2 divided by 2 is 1. We see that we have two factors of 2 left, which is why as a single exponent it becomes 2 to the second power. Now we're going to simplify 3 to the 4th divided by 3 to the 3rd. You need to write 4 factors of 3 in the numerator, 3 factors of 3 in the denominator, and then just divide out common factors. 3 divided by 3 is 1, 3 divided by 3 is 1, 3 divided by 3 is 1. How many factors of 3 do we have left? We just have one factor of 3 left, therefore that's 3 to the 1st power or just 3. Now we need to take a look and we need to say to ourselves, is there a more efficient way than writing out all of these repeated factors? Well, I take a look at my 5 and my 3. And I say, what can I do with 5 and 3 to get to an exponent of 2? You'll notice my base of 2 remain the same. How can I take 5 and 3 to get to 2? Well, you can take 5 minus 3 to get to 2. If I subtract those exponents, keep my base, subtract the exponents, I will be able to simplify that expression much, much more efficiently. Let's go ahead and look at it for our, our third row. So again, I now have a 5 and a 2. What do I do with 5 and 2 to get to an exponent of 3? My base remain negative 2, and guess what? 5 minus 2 is 3. Therefore, if you would like to just take a more efficient approach, you can always keep the base and subtract the exponents when you're dividing two expressions that have the same base. So now, let's just be sure this works. Our base was still 3. Numerator, the exponent in the numerator was a 4. The exponent in the denominator was a 3. 4 minus 3 certainly is 1 or just 3 to the first. So instead of writing out repeated factors every time, when we want to divide two expressions involving exponents with the same base, we simply keep the base, base won't change, and subtract the exponents. And so that's just a, a more efficient way as opposed to always writing out repeated factors. Is it wrong to write out repeated factors? Absolutely not. That shows me your thought process if that's more comfortable for you. But we can also just keep the base and subtract those exponents when we're dividing. Dividing powers. When dividing powers with the same base, keep the base, subtract the exponents. 
And there you have x to the m over x to the n means x to the m divided by x to the n, which is x to the m minus n. Here's an example, 2 to the 6 over 2 to the 2nd becomes 2 to the 6 minus 2 or 2 to the 4th. So it says, I get it. When you divide powers, you subtract the exponents. What I'd like you to do now is rewrite each expression using a single exponent. I'd like you to pause the video, try it out, come on back. All right, hopefully for the first one, you could have written out 9 factors of 7 divided by 6 factors of 7, divided out common factors, but a much more efficient way is to just keep the base, when we're dividing, we're going to subtract our exponents. That becomes 7 to the third. Again, you could have written 8 fifths out 9 times in the numerator, 8 fifths out twice in the denominator, divided out common factors, or you could just keep your 8 fifths, which is your base. It's okay that your base is a fraction. It can be a fraction. And the exponent would be 9 minus 2. So that's 8 fifths to the 9 minus 2 is 7. So hopefully you got those to work out. Can the following expression be simplified? If so, write an equivalent expression. If not, please try to explain why. So take a minute, pause the video, try this out, come on back. All right, so of course these can be simplified. And how they can be simplified, I'm going to focus on my exponents that each have a base of negative 2. I'm going to keep my base of negative 2. And then I'm going to subtract my exponent 7 minus 5 times then I take my base of 95, I keep my base of 95, I'm dividing, so I'm just going to subtract the exponents 5 minus 4. So that's negative 2 to the second times 95 to the first. We could also just write that as negative 2 to the second times 95. If you have an x, or the exponent is 1, you don't always have to write that in. We can assume that that's a 1. You could have written out 7 factors of negative 2, 5 factors of negative 2, divided out the 5 common factors, been left with 2 common factors. You could have written out 5 factors of 95, divided by 4 factors of 95, divided out 4 common factors, and just be left with 1 factor of 95. So you can write out your factors every time if you want, or when you're dividing same base, just subtract those exponents and keep that base. Now I want to know, can you simplify this expression? If so, write an equivalent expression. If not, explain why not. So take a minute, pause the video, try it out, come on back. In order to simplify this expression, you need to recognize that 27 is 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27. So 27 is actually 3 to the third power. So this is 3 to the 23rd power. This is 3 to the third power. I could keep my base of 3, subtract my exponents. 23 minus 3 would be 3 to the 20th. Once you get to this form, if you're someone who then needs to write out 23 threes in the numerator, 3 threes in the denominator, divide out 3 pairs of threes, then come out to get 3 to the 20th, that's fine with me. It's, I find it much more efficient if I'm dividing to subtract my exponents, keep my base. But if you need to write out the factors, do you write out the factors? That's okay with me. Let x be a number. Simplify the expression of each of the following numbers. Okay. What I'd like you to do is pause the video, try it out, and come on back. If you... Don't think you're going to be comfortable trying these on your own right now? Then I'll do one of them with you. Then you can pause the video and try the second one on your own. Okay. What I'd like to do here is I'm going to just write, rewrite my 5 over x to the third. And then we're multiplying. Those parentheses tell me I'm going to multiply. And then we have negative 4x to the sixth. I'm going to put that all over 1. If you have a number, you can always rewrite it as a fraction by putting that number over 1. You're going to notice I chose not to keep my parentheses. The 6 is only attached to the x not to the negative 4. 
So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to multiply straight across the top, straight across the bottom. So I'm going to multiply 5 times negative 4 is actually a negative 20, and I still have my x to the 6th. x to the 3rd times 1 is just x to the 3rd. At that point, if you need to write out 6 factors of x in the numerator, 3 factors of x in the denominator, and divide out common factors, you can do that. Or I just say, okay, my coefficient is negative 20, and then it will be x to the 6 minus 3. We keep the base, subtract our exponents when we're dividing, so that's negative 20 x to the 3rd. If you have not yet paused the video, try pausing the video and try duplicating the second one on your own. All right, hopefully you pause the video. Again, this is 5 over x to the third times 3x to the eighth over 1. You can always rewrite any number as a fraction by putting it over 1. Now I'm going to just multiply straight across the top, straight across the bottom. 5 times 3 is 15 x to the eighth over x to the third times one is x to the third. I'm going to keep my coefficient of 15. x to the eighth divided by x to the third. I'm going to keep my base. I'm dividing, so I'm going to subtract my exponents, 8 minus 3. So that's 15x to the fifth. Hopefully you're getting more comfortable applying our second law of exponents. As a final example tonight, let a and b be some numbers and b can't be zero because we don't allow division by zero in our number system. Simplify the expression as much as possible. Okay, so I take a look at this. Hopefully you pause the video. If not, pause it, try it, come on back. All right, as I take a look at this, I say, okay, well, I have an a and there are no a's in the denominator. So now the only thing I can do is simplify my b's. If I'm dividing same base, I keep my base, which happens to be b, and I subtract my exponents. It's important to remember that that 3 is only attached to the b. If it had been attached to the a and the b, it would have looked like this. And that's not what they tell us. Okay? And so we have a, b to the first. 3 minus 2 is 1, or just a, b. And that's as simplified as you're getting that one. For tonight's reflection question, I'd like you, in your own words, to describe the second law of exponents, dividing powers with the same base. So when you hear dividing powers with the same base, what process goes through your mind? What do you believe is the most effective way to go about it, in your own words? Then I'd like you to try to give an example of an expression involving exponents that can be simplified using the second law of exponents and an expression involving exponents that cannot be simplified using the second law of exponents. So try to do a nice write-up on those. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.